Hi, welcome to Dupi Animations. So in this tutorial, we will be taking a look at creating an intro for a social media channel. When it comes to creating an intro for a social media channel, the most important thing here is the sound. And it's supposed to be fast and short to introduce the speaker. It can be a logo alone based intro or a graphic element based intro. If it's graphic element based intro, make sure it matches the pace of the beat or sound effects. Okay, let's not waste time. Let's just go through that process. Welcome to Sub Studios. Okay, so I have After Effects open here. All right. First, let's create a composition 1920 by 1080. Let's name this one main. So this will be our main. Uh, let's go something like 10 seconds. Okay. All right. Now let's create another composition. Let's name this one bar. Okay. All right. So now we have a main and a bar. All right. Now let's bring some assets to use. I have some materials here, which involve an audio file. Okay. So let's just click and drag them inside. All right. So first let's create the bars. All right. Let me come to the menu bar, layer, new, then solid layer, okay? Let me just click OK for the solid layer. Now come to effects and presets and type fill effects and apply it to the solid layer. So the first one, let's give it a color of something like light blue, okay? So I have this. So what you are going to do, you are going to animate this particular solid layer, all right, from right to left, okay? So hit P on position, then move the solid layer to the right side. Okay, move it to this side. Then starting position, set a key there. Then on something like two seconds, move it, that's the solid layer, to the right side so that it disappears. Okay, so here is okay. Then you select the two keys, then easy ease them. Easy ease. Then you come to the graph editor. Pull one side in to give you that smooth come in fast, then lands softly. Okay. So after this, what you are going to do is you are just going to duplicate this solid layer. So control D. Okay. Then change the color from light blue to something like um, let me see, lemon. Something like lemon color. Okay. Now let's push this one. The starting backwards. So that when this one comes, then it will follow. So let me bring this one to somewhere here. So you have something like this. You see that? It comes, then it follows. All right? So let's see. All right. Then let's select the two. Then duplicate, move them up. Then push them backwards. So you have something like this. You see that? Now let's change the color of the third one to something like, um, let me go something like pink. Then the fourth one, let's go a deep blue, a deep blue color, all right? So let's select all the layers in, then duplicate them, move them upwards, then adjust the coming in, okay? So you have something like this. Let's see. All right. So you can decide to change the color of these ones too. So the fifth one, let's see. Let's go for something like white. Let's go for white color. The one that follows, mm, I think red will do. Then let me see. Uh, at this point, I'm randomly picking any color. Okay. So uh, something like a neon blue. Let me leave it like that. Then the last one, uh, any color will do. So let me go for yellow. So I have this. All right. So we are done with our bar. Now let's come into our main here. So inside our main, what we do is, first, let's bring in our sound effects, which is this one. Okay. Welcome 
to serve studios. Okay. So this is the sound effect that we are going to use. All right? Now let's bring the bar. The bar composition will come in first. Okay. So it will come in. Let me fit it to come. It will come in. Welcome to Sub Studios. All right. So what we do is the middle here, I don't want the entire bars to be coming. So I'll cut it in the middle somewhere here. Okay. Then the second one, I'll duplicate the bar. Okay. So the bottom one, I will subtract the mask. Then I'll have this. Okay. So the bottom one, come to effects and come to color correction and select black and white. Or you can tap it from here, the effects and presets here and type black and white here. Okay. And you have it. So you type black and white. You see, that's it. All right. So now the middle is the color, part of the side is the black and white. But still we are not done with this, the bar. So we will flip it so that the black and white will be coming from the left side, whilst the color is coming from the right side. So let's flip it. Let's turn here and flip it. Okay. When it comes to social media channel intros, you can just randomly place any element, pictures, everything. Just make sure that it matches the sound that you are placing under. And you are gone. So I have this. Welcome. You see that? Welcome. So the beginning, maybe I want it to be white. So I will set a new solid layer. White. At the beginning. Then maybe I'll cut it there. Let me cut it here. So. See that? So from here to maybe... Mm, something like one second here. Let's introduce a white solid layer. So I will duplicate this one, the one at the beginning, and bring it here. Okay, so I have something. Well, okay, so where there is a camera click sound, well, which is here, I'll duplicate this one again, move it to maybe somewhere here. So that I'll have that middle gap there. Welcome. You see that? Welcome. Welcome. So from here, I can decide to bring maybe an image. Okay. Welcome. So let me see one second. Let me cut the bars here, the two bars. Let me end them here. All right. Welcome. So the middle here. Welcome. So the middle here. Maybe let me see. I have a picture here. I can use this picture. Okay. Let me use this one to bridge that particular place. Okay. Let me cut it to this portion. And this portion. So let me scale it up. So something like this. Then apply fill to it. Make it white. Okay. So let's see. Welcome. Welcome. You see that? Welcome. So maybe the one, the plain white here, I can decide to bring this particular image on top there. But in this case, I will take the fill out so that the image itself will show. So I have something like that. Welcome. You see? You see the flashes? Welcome to Sub Studios. So it says, welcome to Sub Studios. So let me come to, I think the ending logo, where is it? Um, here. Let me bring that one to the end there. Okay, so from here to here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this one 3D, all right? Then position, set a key, then the beginning, move it out. Okay, then select the two keys, easy ease them. 
is it is come to the graph editor. Then we have something like this. Welcome to Sub Studios. Welcome to Sub Studios. Welcome to. So from here, you can decide to duplicate this one. Okay, let's see. Welcome to Sub Studios. So let's duplicate the end here. Okay, from here, let's cut it from here. All right. So from here, I'll decide to split or mask one side of this. So maybe I'll cut this side. All right. Then maybe duplicate it again. Then this one, the next one, I'll cut the bottom here. Let me take the masking off the third one. The mask, the base. Okay. So you have something like this here. To sub studios. So you have something like this. To sub you see, you see. A bit of flashes there. Okay. Welcome to Sub Studios. Welcome to Sub Okay. So now let's leave that. Now let's try to fill in the empty spots. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to so from here, we can decide to bring maybe, uh, let's see, an image. I have an image here. We can decide to bring that particular image. Okay. So I have this image. All right. Let me scale them up. Hit S, then scale them up. Okay. So from here to here, between that image and this, the logo coming in, I can decide to bring a solid layer. Let me bring it up. Okay. Then position it somewhere here. Then what I'll do is I'll use the masking tool to create something like a rectangular square in here. Then I'll subtract it. So let me subtract it. So we have something like this. Welcome to Substi. Welcome to Substi. Is it that? Welcome to Substi. Welcome to Substi. Okay. All right. Welcome to Substi. So maybe the middle here you can decide to add a ring or shape layer around this all right so maybe you create a new shape layer let me see the size is too big so let me go five then make it white then you can create your maybe ring around this Okay. Then in that video, you see that I wrote a recording in here. Okay. You can do that. So let me cut this here. Welcome you see. So this, you are just randomly placing images. Okay. To create the intro. So maybe somewhere here. Somewhere here, I can decide to add, write something, something like trend. Okay, so something like trend. There may be the font. Um, what is it? The fonts. Let me change the fonts. Let me see. Copper plates. Okay, this one is okay. Then scale it up. All right, just scale it up. So from here to here, before this comes in, 
I'll cut the trends here, somewhere here. Then from here to here, I'll split it. Okay, so let me just cut it here. Then duplicate this one, then move this one here. So this, I will change the trends and maybe make this one half of it. So tray, then scale it up or blow it up. Okay, can decide to blow this one up. Then maybe add uh, something like Venetian blind, come to transition, add something like Venetian blinds. Okay, you see that? Yeah, let me rotate it a bit. Okay, now I change the color to something like, um, let me see, black. So maybe you have something like this. Welcome to Sub Studios. Cool. You see, you are done with your intro. And this one, the middle one here, uh, what is it, that image. Let's apply fill to it and change the color to white. Okay. Welcome to Sub Studios. So just simple graphic elements. We have created an intro for a social media. Even this is too long. I think this is something like four seconds. Welcome to Sub Studios. You see? So the major player here is the sound effects. Okay. Then adding the graphics, that's all. All right. So I hope you guys catch something here. So next time, if you want to create your own social media intro, don't try to bother yourself with, oh, looking for oh, templates anywhere. Just sit down, gather some of your own pictures or whatever that comes to your mind, then put them together. Just make sure it follows the sound, the pace of the sound, and you are done, all right? All right, guys. Please kindly like, subscribe, and comment, and see you next time.